close the gap between a developed society and a developing one. Perhaps the provision of efficient infrastructure for a vast majority of the people will top the agenda. For the Global Forum for Human Settlements and the United Nations Habitat, provision of basic living conditions for a vast majority of the people who do not have access to city life is a good way to start. It's a ceremony that has run for the past years. As guests arrive at the lobby of the UN Plaza in New York, United States, including the governor of River State, Yesom Wike. The ambience sets the tone for the 12th Human Settlements and Sustainable City Ceremony, organized by the China based Global Forum for Human Settlements. This year, we have been feeling strongly the influence and damage to human beings from increasing extreme weather and the disastrous climate changes around the world. Where I come from, Latin America, where already 70% of the people is living in the city. Uh, by 2020 by 2050, it will be 90% of people living in cities. So this is really a, an opportunity to do things in a different manner. And it's an opportunity also, and it's a challenge, uh, what the role of cities will be on sustainable development. Nigeria, USA, and of course, China. The River State governor turns out to be the only African on the list for his efforts towards urbanization. He believes it's the result okay. of teamwork. progressively provide the basic infrastructure and social services that will enhance the living standards of all residents on a sustainable basis. The event was put together in collaboration with the permanent mission of the Gambia to the UN, the permanent observer mission of the African Union to the UN, the United Nations Environment Program and other development partners. From New York, Emmanuel Irene, Channels Television News.